Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been wanting to film a full face of one makeup brand for absolutely ages and the problem with it is that it can sometimes be quite pricey to get a full face of makeup. Luckily there are some cheaper brands out there and for a while I've been thinking of doing one about MUA which is sold in Superdrug. Literally, as though Superdrug <laughs> read my mind, over the Easter weekend they had money off some of the Superdrug items anyway and then if you had a beauty card they were doing like an extra 20% off. This is the biggest box I've ever gotten from Superdrug and it's just full of makeup. I've got a full face of makeup in there. The whole order came to £29.46, which is just absolutely crazy. We're gonna try out the products today. I'm gonna give you my first impressions and later on down the line, I'll probably write up some reviews on my blog to let you know what I think of them. Before we get into the video, guys, uh, let's start with the elephant in the room, which is... <laughs> my skin. I'm having a really bad time in my skin at the moment but on the bright side we are putting a foundation and some concealer to the test today. We can see whether they do a good job or not so actually not all bad. So yeah guys if you do enjoy this video then as always do please give it a big thumbs up, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of it and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on the next video and let's get into the cheapest face of makeup I'll probably ever buy. So I'm going to start off with two products. I ended up picking up the enhancing eyeshadow primer and then what I'm going to do is carve out my brows. This is the Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. I went for it in the shade 102. I'm just going to dot it around my brows for now. It's like put a lot of product on one side and then there was nothing left for the other. It is a really really tiny wand. For a full coverage concealer, I didn't go very far did it? I think where we're so used to really big concealer ones nowadays. This is just really throwing me off how tiny this one is. I'm just gonna add some more product around the corners of my eye. Just gonna buff it all out with this fluffy brush. This is the Enhancing Eyeshadow Primer. Apparently it's got a shade which is nude base and it says to be applied before eyeshadow. To be applied before eyeshadow to achieve a vibrant, crease-free colour that lasts. Okay, so it's pretty much the same doe foot. It looks about the same size. It's quite thick, actually. I'm going to bring it under my eyes. I'm going to take that fluffy blending brush again and blend it out. It's blended quite nicely into the concealer. It does have a little bit of coverage, not that much though it's still quite thin there's a little bit more coverage where i've applied the concealer on the brow bone i meant to say the prices as i was going along the eyeshadow primer is normally two pounds fifty and it was down to one pound sixty five okay moving on to eyeshadow so i picked up the Force of Nature 15 shade eyeshadow palette. So I thought it was the most original looking one of the lot. I'm gonna jump into shade number 13, which is this tealy blue down here onto my crease brush. And we're gonna see what happens. Oh, that's not bad. So before I forget, this palette is normally five pounds and with all the discounts, it came to three pounds 33 and for that price this isn't a bad blue it's not the most pigmented blue but it's packing really nicely like it's looking really smooth over that primer really like that first color my one criticism right now would be that it hasn't actually got many matte shades i mean this blue is kind of the only true matte shade that i can see in this palette the others have all got a touch of shimmer. I suppose you could say that these three, that's matte. This one is definitely matte. That one I guess kind of as well. And the rest are all very clearly shimmery. It does feel a bit limiting. I'm gonna take another crease brush. I'm gonna take shade number one up here. I'm gonna focus that more on the inner corner, I think. It's not the brightest of yellow. It's not particularly chalky or anything. It definitely isn't matte though. That blue is the only real matte shade in this palette. I don't know how this is going to go because colour theory. I'm going to take shade number six and focus that on the outside of the crease wing. Again, straight away, it's not a matte shade. I don't know if this is showing on camera, but the crease is very, very clearly matte and up here where i've put the two other shades is catching the light from the ring light so that's a little bit disappointing <sighs> do i like what i'm doing i don't even know what i'm doing i'm gonna go in with shade number five just here on a flat brush i'm just gonna highlight my brow bone 
This is a very pretty shade actually. Now I can't quite decide what to do for the lid because the shimmer shades look gorgeous. I'm gonna go into the concealer with my Blank Canvas Cosmetics F17 brush, start cutting that crease. We'll see if it does a good job or not. Okay, apparently my camera stopped recording and I have no idea at what point. So some of this may have been missed out. It probably has. I'm really having to dig in my brush with this shade. So I'm just gonna, there we go. Quickly spray some setting spray. So just in case this was skipped on the recording, this is shade number 12. Okay, and then for the end of that, I think I'm gonna go back into shade number one. No, five. Oh my God. Let's try wetting the brush again. Okay, so far, I think of the three shimmers that I just tried, I mean, shade number five did really well on my brow bone. It is a really nice highlight. But in terms of popping it in the crease, shade number three has done the best. And now I've got to do that on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to go back into the concealer. I'm just going to plonk it straight on my lids. And I'm going to neaten up that line and finish cutting my crease again. I feel very unexcited by this eyeshadow, which is a shame really. I'm gonna try and make it exciting. I'm gonna take shade number eight, which is the shimmering yellow. I have no idea if this is gonna work. I'm gonna pack it on. Do I want to? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's go for it. We're testing it out. Oh God, no, I regret that decision instantly. I'm gonna take shade number 10, which is this one. I'm gonna dig in, pack that onto the eye. Oh, this is... This is frustrating. Spray that again. So years and years and years ago, I bought some MUA eyeshadow singles and they were really good. They were really creamy, really pigmented. They were like a pound each. This is quite dry. I'm having to dig in a lot. The pigmentation is taking a lot of work. I'm having to spray the brush. I know it's only a five pound eyeshadow palette, but it's getting on my nerves. I'm gonna get no use out of this after this video. I am gonna dig into shade number eight and build it up at the front a little bit. Oh my God, look at that green that it's making. I'm gonna take yet another liner brush with the yellow on it, spray it. Okay, this green that it's made, that's lovely. The fact that I'm having to do this on the other side right now is actually like annoying me. Okay, next up, I've got the Winged Wonder Liner, a unique felt liner with a paddle tip. Don't know what that is. Allowing for thick and thin lines, perfect for winged effects. I'm pretty sure that this had a terrible rating on the website. This is normally three pounds. I paid one pound 60. Well, I mean, if I can't get into this eyeliner, we might never try it. What? I've never seen this. This is so weird. It's thin um, and then it's thick. I might be starting to understand the ratings now. Let's give it a go and see what it turns out like. This is never gonna be neat. Oh my God. Who designed this? <laughs> I'm so angry in this video. Oh my God, I hate this so much. What am I doing with my life? Oh my God, guys. Okay, right. I just ended up going to get my Inglot gel liner just because I can actually trust it. So I've kind of tried to fix things up. Oh, I just, I have no words about this liner. I don't understand who thought this liner was a good idea. It's really annoying me. It's awful. No one asked you to change how you apply a liner. This? That's what I think of it. This eyeliner has just infuriated me. I'm gonna leave the eyes for now because I'm just getting so annoyed. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the face instead. The first face item that I've got here is the Pro Base Primer Oil. This is the one with gold flakes. I'm not sure what it does, but it's got gold flakes in it, but it's a hydrating base. So I've got high hopes for this one. Ooh, it's very runny. Oh my God. Oh, I just got that on my T-shirt. And I guess just rub it in. I think it's got lavender in it. I'll have to check the ingredients. I love lavender, so I'm fine with it, but I think people can be allergic to it quite easily. Oh, now my hands are too oily to open stuff. Next thing is this Pro Base Smooth Set and Prime Blur Stick. 
So it fills in fine lines and minimizes the appearance of pores for a super smooth, soft base. So I'm gonna go over my cheeks, my nose, my smile lines, and we'll just see if this helps in any way. It's gliding on very nicely. And the primer oil is normally four pounds. I paid three pounds 21. And the stick primer is normally five pounds and I paid two pounds 66. Okay, next up is foundation. This is the Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation. They have a lot for pale skin. I was really impressed. It did seem like they could do with going a bit darker in the other direction. Okay, so the foundation normally retails for five pounds. Again, I got it for two pounds 66. I went with the shade 1110. When I looked at the swatches, the lighter shades did look really light and I just didn't know, but I've got a feeling this is gonna be too, oh my God, that's actually pretty good. Undertone wise, it's definitely wrong. You can see it because it's yellow, but shade wise, that's actually really good. And this is my first time picking a foundation online. So I'm quite impressed. I don't know how much we need. This looks like it's quite a lot. Let's try a brush. This is my iconic foundation buffing brush. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need more. It's not the fullest coverage, but it is covering. Get some more on my forehead and then we'll try to build it up and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we definitely need a bit more. It doesn't look completely matte. It looks quite nice in real life, but I've just looked over at the screen and it does look really patchy. Okay, I think I've probably gone too thick now. Just gonna see if I can get it a bit smoother with the blender. I feel like we've definitely got the smoother finish with the Beauty Blender, although I do feel like I've taken off some of the coverage. Because I did, for once, get the concealer in a lighter shade, I'm just gonna use my Too Faced concealer in snow just to spot conceal. And to be fair here, this is a really nice match to this concealer. I normally avoid these matte foundations. And to be fair, it's not that matte. Like, I feel like I've still got a bit of a glow through it. And I don't know if that's the oil or the foundation. I do feel like it's having a bit of a struggle on my nose though. And then I'm gonna take the Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer. So this is shade 102. So yeah, this is meant to be full coverage. I'm not that convinced that it is, but for the first time in my life, I am actually able to use a concealer to highlight. Price-wise, it's normally £2.50 and I got it for £1.32. The wand is definitely very small and it doesn't carry very much product and you have to keep going back in. I'm gonna go back into that brush and blend the concealer on the under eyes. And it is blending into the foundation nicely. I wouldn't say it's full coverage. I do feel like I look quite patchy looking in the monitor, but in real life, I feel like it's not bad under the lighting. Okay, under powder, I picked two up. One of them is the MUA Pro Base Full Coverage Matte Press Powder. This is the shade 1110. So I thought that would be quite nice to finish all over the face. And then the second powder that I got is the Translucent Pressed Powder. I mean, they look really similar. So the translucent powder is only one pound and it was down to 53p. And then the other powder, the full coverage one was two pounds 50 and it was down to one pound 32. I think I'm just gonna take the same brush that I was using to blend out the concealer. That's just immediately darkened it, hasn't it? Translucent powder is definitely not made for everyone. I'm just gonna take this on a big brush, set the rest of the face. The foundation has started to crease in my smile lines. So this is despite using that primer stick that's meant to fill in lines. The next one I'm gonna use is the Brow Define Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. This is the shade five. Oh, it looks really fair actually. This one retails for £2.50 and it was £1.32. So let's see how it goes. Oh my god, this is actually very fair. 
I like the shade. It's not too pigmented, so it is taking some building up, but I feel like with brow products, I would rather have to build up because it makes me less likely to make mistakes. Okay, we have a successful product. I really like the way this has turned out. It's basically my exact color. Let's get this eye look over and done with. I think I'm actually gonna take shade number six, which is the orange. I'm just gonna keep the same brush. I'm just gonna do the yellow on the inner half. And then on the inner corner, I'm just gonna take that shade five again. Okay, that's pretty. For mascara, I've got the I Define Nourish and Care Mascara. It's apparently got avocado oil, so it's meant to be nice and conditioning. It's normally four pounds and I got it for two pounds 11. So let's see how it does. Not the worst mascara I've ever tried. I mean, it's not the best. Nice on the bottom lashes. We are gonna leave the eyes there and finish off the face. Okay, first up, I've got this bronzed matte bronzing powder. This is the shade Solar number 100. And the bronzer retails for £2.50. I got it for £1.32. I don't have any contour, unfortunately. They didn't have any. So we're gonna go straight into bronzer. See how it goes. It's quite light, which I'm okay with because I am pretty pale. It's nice. It's not It's not overboard. It's blending in pretty nicely. Let's see if we can add to the nose. I mean, this would be working a lot better if my skin was smoother, but... Yeah, no, this is this is alright. It's very subtle, but I'm okay with it today. Next up, I've got the Blushed Matte Blush Powder. The shade is called Papaya Wit. It's really pretty. It's looking very light on camera, but it is like a, like a light coral. So let's see how it performs. With these shades of makeup, I feel like I'd want to be a lot more glowy, a lot more summery, but everything is matte. Okay, I'm really excited about this next one because I've heard a lot about MUA highlighters and I've never tried them. This is the Shimmer Highlight Powder. The shade is Peach Diamond. I'm gonna go in with my tiny Morphe M558. Okay, it's definitely coming up on camera. I didn't realize it would be so pink. Oh, wow. Okay, this is really nice. The highlighters retail for £3 each and I got it for £1.60. I would say that the skin has been so much more successful than the eyes so far. It is looking a bit weird up here, but it could be that my skin's a bit dehydrated up there. Maybe I'm missing it when I'm moisturising or something like that. I feel like I'm liking the skin so much more than I expected, especially considering how it started. <laughs> this highlighter. This is not a shade of highlighter that I would wear every day, but it's very pretty. I'm going to get so much use out of this one over summer. So I picked out a lip liner. I wanted to go for something nude but corally, so I got the shade Fantasy, which you can see is very light. It's a very nude lip liner. But then I picked up the Velvet Lip Lacquer, and the shade is Passion. These look like they would be a really good match online. That's the colour of the liquid lipstick. That's the lip liner. They've got nothing to do with each other. I'm gonna use them together anyway. This basically looks like it's a pretty good match for my lips. Might be a good one just to have in my collection. The lip pencil is £1.50. I got it for 80p, so it's very nice and affordable. The liquid lipsticks, they're £3 and it was down to £1.60. So let's give this lip liner a go. It doesn't smell very nice. It's very creamy. It didn't drag while applying it or anything. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick and it is obviously very bright. Ooh, it smells incredible. It smells like I've just taken a nosedive into a pool full of Haribo. Now I wouldn't complain if that really happened to me. I'd be okay with that. Guys, I love this colour. It matches up to the eyeshadow really well in the end. I mean, it's quite over the top. It's quite a lot, but it does match up. I wouldn't normally think that it's something I could pull off at all, but I feel like I'm going to be wearing this all summer. It smells amazing. The applicator is really hard. I didn't find applying it was the most comfortable. It's quite a thin formula and it is streaky. So that's a little bit of a disappointment. Can we layer it up? Oh, the smell though is gorgeous. Okay, it does seem to build up. It's gonna need more testing, but I just, I, 
absolutely love this colour. I can't believe it. it. Doesn't quite match the highlighter though, but it does match the blush, so that part is nice. And just to finish everything off, I'm just gonna use the Pro Base Fixing Spray. That is one strong mist. <laughs> That's just like I got into the shower. What is in this? Is it the aloe that I can smell? It's got a very strong scent. I'm getting cucumber from it. I'm pretty sure this has got cucumber in it. All right, guys, that's it for the video. It's been an interesting video. I mean, it did start off really badly. Now that everything is in together, I do kind of like the eye look. The turquoise with the yellow shimmer on top is really nice. The quality of the eyeshadow was quite disappointing. I think you'd be able to create so much more if you had more actually matte shades and a bit more variety. The liner, I mean, I ranted enough about it earlier. Who thought that that was a good idea? People need to stop trying to do these amazing things with eyeliners. Terrible idea. <laughs> the face is looking really nice. I don't normally go for full matte finishes. When I realized that MUA didn't have any other finishes for their foundations, I was really worried. But I do think it's turned out really nicely, especially considering how bad my skin is. The concealer definitely isn't full coverage though. I don't know where they're getting that from. The oil felt really nice. I'm guessing that the oil has helped the foundation today. Again, I'm gonna have to test them separately to find out more, but they do seem like a nice combination. I don't feel cakey or anything right now. Not sure about the stick. That's gonna need more experimenting. The powder foundation. Again, that could have been a cakey mess over the matte foundation, but it isn't and it works and they are the same shade. Translucent powder is the same color. So that, that felt like a bit of a waste of money. The blusher, the bronzer, they blended in really nicely into the foundation. The highlighter is beautiful. I will be using that again definitely and the brow pencil really really impressed me just the shade just the fact that it is so light like literally this matches my hair it's the perfect shade the lips i love the color it's looking pretty dry though yeah i'm not sure about the lips but the skin the skin has really impressed me I will say that. I think my skin looks amazing. I'm really impressed. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed going on this roller coaster of emotions with me today. Definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like me to do this again, what brands you'd like to see next. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, then do please give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.